I went through what I went through with Dope House. It was not a good experience. It's very much a shit show. Um, a lot of people warned me about it, but I'm like, nah, you know, it can't be that bad type shit. But once you get bit by the snake, then you're like, fuck, bitch, looking for the antidote. You know what I mean? And and, and it was definitely something really crazy for me to go through, you know, because I'm, I'm a good-hearted person. I want to work with people that want to work with me. I want to make good music, and I want to put on for my people. Like, that's what I want to do. Like, I, I don't do the music shit just to stroke my ego. Like, I do it because I'm trying to make change. I'm trying to build an impact. I'm trying to serve a purpose in my community. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, people like The Dope House, SPM, whatever, mm-hmm. they use people as pawns. Mm-hmm to very much execute fucking, execute their plan. Job, man, you know, they, they, they use people to execute their plan. You get what I'm saying? At the end of the day, people with power, people with a name, whatever, they try and use other people as pawns. And I feel like that's that's the only thing I ever was at the dope house was a pawn. I feel like they tried to one up on Lopez. I feel like they tried to use Lopez. I feel like they tried to, you know, uh, get one over on me. And it's very disrespectful because I'm actually an asset to any corporation, any mm-hmm. uh, any kind of label, anything that I join, mm-hmm. I'm an asset. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You, would've, you but, could've been a hoe. Exactly. You. But you know what? God is ultimately telling me that's not the direction you're supposed to be going. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, I have four girls, and them knowing how important it is to be yourself, to come out on top, and to negate and, and fight against all the patriarchal bullshit is one of my main focuses so once I realized what it was to be working at dope house I had to stop and and I just want to say this to all the dope house fans I'm sorry that you might feel some type of way about my words and my truth you know at the end of the day you are ride or die fans for SPM and that's a blessing to him you get what I'm saying? But my experience with the man has not been the same experience that you've had with the man. You get what I'm saying? So mm. at the end of the day, my experience with Carlos Coy, my experience with the Dope House was not a positive one. It was not something that I want to sit here and, and brag or boast about. And any time in the most recent post with my new songs that I have tagged Dope House or anything like that, it was to let them know this track that I'm putting out is exactly what the fuck y'all asked for. Because you fucked with the right one. You get what I'm saying? And out of love to people that I'm close with from the Koi family, I have refrained from saying and doing certain things. But at the end of the day, I feel like I need to come out and let people know what it really is. You know, I was fired last, last Friday for some bullshit because supposedly I'm not safe at the dope house. Lopez is not safe at the dope house because of whatever they got going on, because supposedly they're at war with one of the biggest fucking, uh, you know, gang members of Tango Blast, whatever. And I'm just like, what the fuck does that have to do with me? Nothing. Nothing. It has nothing to do with me. I had no representation when I dropped my album. It was literally just me and the engineer slash producer. That was all it was. And then a couple months later, all this bullshit starts happening. People think, oh, Lopez is an easy lick. SPM thinks Lopez is an easy lick. Let's fucking try and buy her album out from under her. That is my biggest beef with the dope house. You being in the game 22, 20, whatever, how many years that you've been in the game, you decided to, instead of embracing Lopez and making her or helping her into her next level, you decided to little sis me. You decided to try and play me and 
steal my album from me. Like, let's call a spade for a spade. You tried to do that to me. And what did Lopez have to do? Figure it the fuck out. The way she always has. The way she always has had to. I had to figure it the fuck out. I had to figure it the fuck out. And anybody at the dope house is expendable. They're like, the man needs help. He ultimately realized Lopez is not somebody that you can control or play or or try and whoop, whoop, whoop. So he's like, damn, the best way that I can deal with that situation is by getting rid of her. So what? It's no longer safe at the dope house. Da, 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 da. But you still want me to go and work at the dope house. You still want me to go and record at the dope house. You still want me and go and write, you know, music and, and all these songs at the dope house, but it's not safe? Which is it? You get what I'm saying? Which is it? It's toppling. You get what I'm saying? The powers that have reigned supreme are toppling because it's not right how they do and how they treat people. It's toppling. They gossiping. Topic of the topic in. Still the hardest rapper like a hurricane I'm barreling. Like dead ass. And I feel like because I am the fucking hardest female rapper coming out of Houston, Texas. Because I am the hardest fucking Latina standing on business coming out of Houston, Texas. I feel like SPM, Dope House, whoever, whoever's pulling the strings over there, I feel like they were like, we need to sit this bitch down. We need to sit her down and we need to bench her. Because at the end of the day, it's about egos. It's about egos. Me being better than a Carlos Coy is not acceptable in his realm, in his mentality. The dope house being ran by a woman is not something that he is easily accepting. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, all the mental and emotional abuse that I went through dealing with the dope house, the only thing that came from it was me being stronger and me being and me getting my album. Because at the end of the day, Manic Media, Sambo, whoever, whoever the fuck tried to fucking play me. Whoever tried to sit here and play me for real. Whoever tried to sit here and steal from Lopez, they have to answer to God for that. Not me. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, they say, I'm not safe at Dope House. Lopez is not safe at Dope House. Well guess what? I'm prayed up. I'm blessed up by the best. I don't I don't just say that just to make the people around me feel better. I believe that. I truly believe that. I am blessed by the best and always have been. And anyone who comes and tries to negate that or hurt that or sit here and shit all over that cannot. They can't. You know what I'm saying? So that's why when they try and shove all these fear tactics down your throat and try and tell you, you know, you should be scared. Or da, 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 da. I'm not scared. I'm not. I'm blessed. I am blessed by the best. And I ain't never been scared of nothing. Why? Because I stand in my truth. Anybody that's scared has something to hide. And that's why some of these mother... Some of... <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Some of these motherfuckers have yet to try and even have a conversation with Lopez. Because they know I'm going to read them for filth and I'm going to call them on the bullshit. And what hurts me the most is that I wear my heart on my sleeve. And I genuinely want my people to succeed. And for me to even think that you were my people. And then you do what you did to me. You, you you connive and you deceive. It's, it's so much harder for Lopez. Like, it's so much harder. Like, I want to be the love and the light that the world needs. But people really try and bring the mal out. People, pre- people really sit here and disrespect everything that I've built, everything that I've tried so hard to work for. 
you know. And a lot of people that I'm around, my peers, they don't deserve that. They don't deserve having to pick a side or whatever. But at the end of the day, actions come with consequences. It doesn't matter what your actions are. Your actions come with consequences. And that's just point blank, period. And that's where me being emotional, being upset, being human, I reacted and I responded and I said what the fuck I had to say to who I had to say it. Because at the end of the day, certain people don't respect boundaries. And if I'm asking you to get away from me, if I'm asking you to leave me alone, it's for a reason. But you're so entitled that you couldn't give me that space. You're so entitled that you couldn't give me that reciprocation of energy of I'm being a real ass bitch right now and I'm telling you to leave me alone because I don't want to have to bust all that fucking lit filler in type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm being real as fuck and I'm telling you straight from the jump, leave me be. You know, and at the end of the fucking day, at the end of it all, the biggest lesson that I learned is that in this industry, people are not your friends. And it was something really hard for me to chew on and swallow because the person that I am, I'm such a loving person. I'm such a fucking girl's girl. Like, I'm such a girl's girl. I'm such a fucking, I want all of us to eat and do great. And you know what I mean? Like, so when, when certain people hurt my feelings, when certain people do me how they do me with no with no fucking reason at all as to why you would do me like that because I've I've never done anything to you and I never hurt you or did anything like that to you. You know? So like for somebody to do that, it just it just shows like you're in a dark spot. You are in a dark and a hurting location. Like you're going through it but you're stuck there instead of moving forward. And the only way that you can help others, or the only, so I said, the only way that you can help yourself is by hurting others. And so you decide to do what you do. At the end of the day, Lopez is human. And I had to go through some emotions. I posted what I posted. I said what I said. I threw the slugs that I threw because I was emotional and because I was hurt. Because I really thought certain people were my friends, you know? And that's where I'm learning. I'm learning, like, like my homegirl, like my best friend Claudia always told me, these bitches are not your friends, bro. <laughs> I'm your friend. And, and she's right, you know? She's right. But, like, you don't know that going into this fucking rap industry and this music industry. You don't know all the bullshit that comes with it, you know? But I will say this, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to everyone that has always shown any kind of love to Lopez. I'm grateful to anyone that shows any kind of support, any kind of anything, anything. I'm, I'm super fucking grateful because without y'all, I would not be as far as I am today, you know? And just to go and show that Lopez is definitely doing something right for the people that are now trying to, you know what I mean, break down everything that I've worked so hard for. So I must be doing something right. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I love those who love me. I support those who support me. If you're on the fence and you don't know which side to jump on, go to the other side, baby. I don't need you.